What's good, everyone, and welcome back to part two of my uh, podcast of the episode Wearing Braces. Now, really, I didn't really expect to make a part two due to number one, uh, really that whole that that video that uh, I made about the first part of the video that I made about wearing braces. First off, go check that out if you have if y'all haven't. But uh, the first that 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 video when I was recording it. It's, it stopped recording on its own, like, I didn't press no buttons, I was still talking, and for some reason, it just, it just stopped recording on its own, but anyway, if you haven't seen that episode, go ahead and go watch it now, so that way I can uh, understand it a little bit more, and, but, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, wearing braces, wearing braces is really hard to add the fact that, like, uh, uh, that on that Monday, I couldn't, I couldn't really talk, I couldn't really move my mouth a lot, and I couldn't eat. Like that really sucked without the fact that, like, uh, uh, I am a very social person. Like, I like to talk to people, and and you know, like, like you you can understand about the fact if if you're a social person, that you know exactly how I feel about how like like I wanted to t- say something to someone, but I wasn't able to until my fourth period. Because of how the fact that like my mouth was hurting a lot, and let me tell you this, let me tell you this, since uh, since um it was hurting a lot, I was not happy when uh uh when I could not eat because it was during lunchtime when I figured that out to where like it hurt to eat stuff. All right, like. However, I did not starve myself during lunchtime. No, I had a smoothie. And this smoothie is actually going to be a really big part of this episode. Of this part of the episode. So stick stick with me. So like I didn't I didn't starve myself. They got and I had a smoothie. And so like uh It was really, really hard throughout that day until four period. And this is did this coming up what I'm about to say now is where the smoothie part comes in. So I got I got the smoothie from the uh, from the school, and uh, it, it really filled me up. It really filled me up uh, 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 during lunchtime, through and, and then until dinner time on that Monday. But the next day, I don't know why or how I was feeling this kind of way, but I somehow felt sick. Now I don't mean like throwing up or. Or, or, or anything like that. No, nah, it was more like, like sneezing, and coughing, sore throat, and stuffy nose, you know, s- stuff like that. The, the little simple stuff, if you if you want to call it that. But like, that, so, I threw away from my mouth hurting to, uh, I, I'm, my, on Monday went to my mouth hurting to Tuesday, my mouth feeling a little bit good, but I still can't really eat stuff, yet, not that much stuff yet. But yet not feeling good to where like I had stuffy nose and I was sneezing a lot and I did not enjoy that. So into which I was just thinking, hmm, it might be out al- it might be the allergies. But then I realized that like I didn't eat nor drink anything that I'm allergic to. And honestly, I don't, I, would, I wouldn't really say that I have any um, spring allergies. I know that might be what some people may say, but I don't really think I have spring allergies due to the fact that I think that, like, th- this is just my theory, alright? You can believe it or you cannot believe it, but, like, this is just my theory. my theory. My theory is that, like, most people that are born in the spring don't get spring, uh, um, allergies. They may get, fl- um, uh, fall and winter allergies to where, like, you know, like, 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 flu and cold season or whatever, but, like, uh, that's just my theory, all right. You can believe it, you cannot believe it. I'm just pointing that out. But anyway, on with the on with the thing. So went from my mouth hurting a lot to the point that where I couldn't talk, eat, or really move my mouth at all until for a period on Monday to Tuesday to where my mouth is feeling a little bit better to where I can now fully talk, but yet still hurt, kind of hurts to eat things, but feeling a little bit under the weather. And I'm just wondering, what was it like? Like that I doing something bad and really I actually thought it was a smoothie and I know what y'all might think Benaya smoothies cannot make you like that and I would actually agree with you on that throughout the fact that like 
I don't think that either, but like, you know, just at, at that time, I wasn't really thinking clearly. Like, I was wondering, what is going on here? Like, my mouth hurting, I'm not feeling good, my birthday is the next day, that last week, alright? My birthday was on the 13th on the on Wednesday, so yeah. Um, ha but by the way, happy birthday to everybody in this month, including me. So happy birthday to y'all and me. And, uh, but anyway, uh, it hurt really bad and... I was not enjoying being sick on Tuesday and then as soon as it was Wednesday everything was a little bit better I'm like I'm still somewhat not really stuffed up I'm not really stuffed up until like maybe during the night time to where like I lay down on my side or on my back or on my stomach or whatever but this is again it's really whatever but like went from mouth hurting on Monday not really feeling the way on Tuesday to Feeling a little bit lot better, both with mouth and with um somewhat allergies on Wednesday, which was on my birthday, and I had a great time. So point blank, uh having braces is hard and be glad that y'all had the invisible liners because honestly I wish that um I could choose to have the invisible liners, but because of um because of this tooth right here, like like this tooth right here, it was like 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 before the braces, it was stuck up in my gum. Like I didn't do anything to it, like it, it for some reason it just feel like, hmm, let me just stay out here until someone does something about it. And then finally, we got it. We got something done about it. Uh, last year, uh, May or March-ish, I don't remember which month. But I know it was last year because um, I remember the pain. And I remember that day very vividly. And I was happy when I had the braces until one, until that one moment when I had the braces and had to, uh, uh, I went to get some dinner to celebrate it. I got Zaxby's. I was uh, again. I was upset at the fact that I couldn't eat some things because my mouth hurt a lot. Like the fries were somewhat hard. The chicken was hard. And I'm just thinking, yo, what am I going to do now? <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the story. And uh, I think I have like a, a another year or maybe a year and a half until I can get these off. But uh, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, part two of this episode. Um, I'm so I'm and again. I'm sorry that um that the, the part one was cut off so short or got um was was on a someone had a cliffhanger to the point to where I needed a part two. But hey, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um this checked out to where it's just it just does that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, the, um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cash out me some money if y'all want to. Uh, follow me on my Twitch. Uh, follow me on Instagram. And uh, God bless. Now catch out people. Nice, wonderful people. Next time. Love y'all.